Yo, what's going on? Kevin the Tech Ninja here, and today's video is all about the iPhone 12 Pro Max versus the Galaxy S21 Ultra. This video was made possible by Avira Free Security for Windows. It's an all-in-one cyber security solution for security, privacy, and performance. This software is free, yes, free. It provides real-time protection from malware. You can even do a complete system checkup with one click using the Smart Scan feature. It has a built-in VPN to protect your identity online, a password manager, and a digital file shredder for deleting important files. Hit my link in the description down below to download Avira free security for Windows. These are two of the big dogs from Apple and Samsung right now. In this comparison, I'll discuss the difference between the two, which has a better camera and my overall pick between both phones. Let's get into it. Oh yeah, so listen, I'm not gonna say 12 Pro Max or I'm not gonna say S21 Ultra. I'm just gonna say iPhone 12 and S21. Okay, these names are crazy. Now just a few weeks ago, I did compare the cheaper versions of this phone in a battle. A lot of information in that video will be the same as this video. Coming in at $1,100, the iPhone 12 Pro Max was released last fall. The price for Apple phones don't change over time too much, so it will most likely be $1,100 until the new one comes out. The S21 Ultra retailed for $1,200. Both phones start at 128 gigabytes of storage, but no expandable memory and no charging brick in the box. It's a trend that I don't like, period. I complained when Apple did it and I'm complaining when Samsung did it too. Although the Ultra is $1,200, you should never, and I mean never, pay that price. If you have a trade-in, you can get it for as low as $500 on Samsung's own website. So it's safe to assume that there is more value in getting a Samsung device knowing you can trade it in that very next year and get the latest and greatest for less than half the price. Now in the hand, both phones are bigger phones than I would typically carry, but there are plenty of people that love really big phones and that's cool. Now both of these phones feel great in the hand. The iPhone is a little bit more squared off, which to me makes it a bit awkward to hold. The Ultra is skinnier but taller, which makes it easier to hold, but reaching that top bar is just a little bit hard as well. But when I was using these phones to do a comparison, I found that the Ultra was just easier for me to use for a longer period of time. I just couldn't get used to the size of the Pro Max day to day. Now speaking of day to day, you know, both these phones give you excellent battery life, lasting well over a day. I did find that the iPhone ended my night with a little bit more battery than the S21, but they're still all day phones with more juice to go, and that's all I could really ask for. The Ultra has capabilities of charging faster wirelessly or wired, but it doesn't come with neither, so it's hard to give Samsung a ton of credit for that. It, it's there though, it does have fast wireless charging and fast wire charging, but it does require an extra purchase to tap into it. Reverse power sharing is useful, especially if you have the Galaxy Buds like I do here. But if you don't have a pair of Galaxy Buds, you can even use AirPods or anything else. You just turn wireless power sharing on from the settings and then the back of the phone becomes a charger. If you put the Galaxy Buds on the back of the phone for five minutes, you actually get an hour's worth of playtime, which is really, really nice. iPhone doesn't have that feature yet. Now I've discussed performance in other videos and both of these phones are using arguably the best chips available on mobile right now. So simple mobile tasks are no match. Playing games is very smooth and you're starting to get some really high frames per second. Now Apple is using Apple Arcade for a lot of their top games and it does cost per month so you never really own the game, you're sort of leasing it per month. But they have some exclusive titles that makes the subscription for me worth it. I just wish I could buy the game outright. I will say on the S21 though, using the Xbox controller and playing some games natively is really sick. And you can even access Xbox services too, like cloud gaming, which is a killer combo. I will say gaming on Samsung has gotten better over time. And if you wanna use a controller and access to Xbox right now, 
this is the best way to go. The next section has to be camera. I think both cameras are on top of the game. They both are trying to do the same thing, but differently. I think the iPhone is going for a realistic approach these days, where Samsung is going for the more Instagram ready shot. The S21 is a more flexible camera, giving you ultra wide, wide telephoto, 30X and 100X space zoom. The iPhone gives you ultra wide, wide in telephoto, which is 2.5X. The S21's outdoor image looks fantastic. The sky is punchy, the whites are super bright, and the colors are vivid. The iPhone does a good job with colors, but out of the camera, it's not as vivid. Is one better than the other when it comes to that? I don't think so. I think the Samsung image may look better to some people, but the iPhone is just more realistic. So I think they just have different approaches. I will say the S21 front facing camera is very sharp and when you go to portrait mode, the cutouts are very precise. Does a pretty good job cutting me out with glasses or even my son with his crazy hair. The S21 front facing camera has impressed me a lot. It's gotten a lot better. Now compared to the iPhone, it's still hard to tell which one I like more. As the S21's colors are still a bit too vibrant and it gives my skin a unnatural tone even when I turn that setting off. The S21 video is fantastic and stabilization modes are unmatched. Also the audio on the iPhone and S21 are both very good. I love how the audio comes out of these videos. Audio quality on the iPhone, audio quality on the Galaxy. I will say one advantage that Samsung has is that it lets you pick different audio sources as your mic. So you can have a Bluetooth headset that can be your mic, you can have AirPods, you can have Galaxy Buds, anything could be a mic when you're doing video. And the iPhone doesn't have that feature out of the box. Night mode on both phones have seen a really big update. I really like how the iPhone switches to a longer shot instead of requiring you to go into night mode like it does on the S21. However, the S21 night mode is very impressive and I mean, take a look at some of these shots. I found the S21 Ultra uses a longer shutter to produce a brighter image than the iPhone 12 Pro Max. The iPhone 12 Pro Max uses about three seconds and the S21 uses five seconds. I do think the iPhone 12 Pro Max is overall sharper, but when you're taking the pictures, the S21 ends up being brighter, but you can go into settings and change that around. I find the S21 camera to be much more flexible as a camera with manual mode, single take, director view, and much more. Although I don't like the color choices at times, I do think the camera is better overall, just kinda wish it wasn't as saturated. The iPhone camera is still good, still one of my favorites, but the S21 Ultra is just a little bit better. Now as far as intangibles, the S21 has the iPhone beat. Reverse charging is a godsend for earbuds. Also the S21 has S Pen, which doesn't slide into the phone, it kinda seems weird, but it does work and you can use a lot of the cool features you used on the Note on the S21 Ultra. That is something worth mentioning because a lot of people love the S Pen. But of course, as I mentioned this in every iPhone versus S21 video, it goes down to ecosystem. But honestly, the S21 is just a better phone and the camera is much more flexible. Speaker is more clear and the screen is a toss up, but they both look amazing. And it just does more things than the iPhone, but that ecosystem. iPhone has exclusive things to iPhone that Samsung can't get. And Samsung doesn't have many exclusive things that iPhone users can't get. Those are my thoughts. I wanna know what yours are. Kevin the Tech Ninja, have a great day. I'll at you guys later. Peace.